Welcome to the Web TV of OWF 13. We're here with Lars Kurt, the community manager of uh, the XEM project. Welcome, Lars. Thank you. Thanks for being with us here today. So the XEM project, could you tell us a bit more what it is, when it started and all that? Yeah, sure. Um, the XEM project is an open source hypervisor. It's been around for 10 years. Um, actually, we do have the 10th birthday coming up in two weeks uh, of the Congratulations. project. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's a Linux Foundation collaborative project, uh, which is funded you know, by 13 vendors, including you know, Amazon, um, Google, Citrix, Intel, AMD, you know, lots of big names. Um, <coughs> basically, it's used for virtualization um, and to enable cloud computing, but there's also other use cases uh, coming up, such as you know, virtualization on mobiles, um, network, network, gear, and so on and so forth. All right, so uh, let's, let's talk a bit about uh, the roadmap of the XM project. So say, I don't know, here uh, in the next six months, uh, what's, on your, what's on your roadmap? So we have a major release coming up, um, XEN 4.4, in um, uh, probably in around February or March time scale. You know, open source deadline's a little soft. So what's going to be new? <laughs> Um, so the big new thing, the big new thing we had in the last release was ARM support um, for ARM servers. Um, that's going to be hardened um, because real hardware is going to be available um, at that point. Uh, another big thing which is coming is what we call HVM virtualization. So if you look at virtualization uh, in Xen, but also for example in KVM, there's two different ways of how you can do this. There's para virtualization or virt.io and KVM, and then there's hardware-assisted virtualization. And what we're doing with HVM is basically taking the best of those, of those two approaches and mixing it up in a way which um, gives really fast performance, much faster than you know, any of those individual modes could, could deliver. And we've prototyped this initially for the ARM support, and it works great, and now we're bringing it back into the Intel world. So, and since, uh, like with any other open source project, uh, basically it's, it's all about the community. So could you tell us a bit about the, the, the community behind the XM <coughs> project? Yeah, so um, uh, there's, a, there's about 120 you know, active, active developers. Um, we've actually had the community grow uh, in the last year from about 90 to 120. Um, most of them work for, for big companies. Um, so the biggest con contributor is Citrix, which contributes about 30 to 40% to the code. Uh, then SUSE, about 10%. Um, then we have you know, Intel, AMD, Amazon, and you know, uh, a big list of, 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 of contributors. Um, <coughs> it's all very low level, you know, very, you know, very low level kernel type of guys, um, which is also you know, why why, why Xen is a Linux Foundation project here. And uh, I just heard that actually the Xen Summit is uh, pretty much just around the corner in the next uh, couple of weeks. So could you give us some of the highlights? Yeah, so, f so first of all, Xen Summit is in Edinburgh, um, just after LinuxCon, um, on the 24th and 25th of October. Um, highlights really are, so for example, if, if you look at Xen today, the way it works is you have a special virtual machine, which is called Domain Zero, um, and that requires a modified um, uh, kernel, like a Linux kernel. And one of the things which Intel is presenting is uh, to get around this, to not need an unmodified kernel to do this, which in theory means you could use iOS or Windows you know, or whatever as Domain Zero kernel. So that's quite cool. Um, <coughs> There's a lot of stuff around scalability and performance. Um, so for example, right now, um, you can run about between 500 and 800 VMs on an individual host. Um, there's a proposal being discussed to l remove that limit such that you can run hundreds of thousands um, on a host. That's interesting for technologies such as uh, OSV, which is a new you know, cloud operating system which was lo launched two weeks ago um, by the uh, creators of KVM. Um, so that's kind of quite cool. And then we're also seeing a lot of momentum around uh, unexpected use cases, such as Samsung's going to show um, 
two Android VMs running on a Nexus 10, there's some more stuff around Android, there's automotive in-car, in-vehicle infotainment solutions being built on top of Xen. Lots of sort of unexpected cool stuff from different areas, which, you know, which is frankly a little bit surprising. So <laughs> possibilities are pretty much endless. Yes, that's right. Platform. Yeah. Well, thank you, Lars, for being with us and uh, good luck with, uh, with Xen. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye.